Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead 2024, the remake or reboot or reimagining, they say, of a cult classic. I don't think the movie was that good to begin with, and I'm like a huge Christina Applegate fan. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Heart in South Jersey. It's the Pineys. Books 1 through 14 available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. First off, I think your two leads, they look older than teenagers to me. They look a little older. They probably are. They're probably young looking, you know, 20 somethings that, I mean, you kind of, I don't know, they needed maybe younger clothes or something. I feel like. They both look, they should look young. They should look like kids, and they kind of don't. They're kind of too close to adulthood or look pretty adult that, yeah, it's not really working for me. That's my first observation. Um, of course, you know, the babysitter dies and they go nuts. Um, but the biggest thing is like, this movie's rated R. The original movie was rated, <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, rated R. For adult situations. And the original movie was rated PG-13. Because <clears throat> it's supposed to be about a group of kids and wacky adventures. So it's kind of a kid's movie, but it's a little a little naughty, so you do PG-13. Like, that's the sweet spot for that. You make it rated R, who the hell is a movie for? So it's only for adults. Okay, but the main characters are kids. That's not the way you do this. No. Nah. Sorry, that's that's a huge misstep. They should not have made this movie rated R. Why why is it rated R? Maybe just f bombs, but I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, is is there a little kind of a weird scene? And Nicole Richie's in it for some reason. Um. Yeah, uh, with kids in the movie, I I I don't think you should have made an R rated movie. It, it kind of takes, I don't know, it, it, and Nicole Richie, I, I don't know why you're featuring her in this, and I, and I think the older teenager is smoking pot half the time, which is probably not a good thing either. You know, it's supposed to be stuff like this. It's supposed to be like dishes in the sink, and the kids wreck the house, and here he is playing baseball with the plates. I think that's from the original movie. I, it's been a long time. But, like, this movie is 33 years old, the original. The cult classic reimagined. Eh, it was kind of. Not really. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Uh, first act, uh, the kids are being left behind because the mother has to go on a wellness retreat because, or, or like an anger management thing, because she blows up during a meeting. So she's going to be gone for two months. The kids think they're going to have a great time. And then the mother says to the oldest daughter, you have to watch the rest of the kids while I go away. And she doesn't really trust her, so she hires a babysitter. The babysitter is white, mildly religious, and mildly racist. So I get you can say, well, that, that's something different. Yeah, I don't really think it adds much. The kids have a big party. And then, uh, because she's deaf as a post, but the next morning they find her dead. So the second act is about them hiding the death so they can have a great summer. But then they run out of money, so the eldest daughter gets a job with Nicole Richie somehow and uh, makes money so they could live, but learns responsibility in the end. But again, it's an R-rated movie with a message that doesn't it doesn't scan. This movie should not be rated R. It doesn't make any sense. This should be funner, lighter. Um, I don't know what this deal is. Is this is this a gay romance going on here? I don't know. doesn't look like it, but maybe. I, I wouldn't put past anything in Hollywood these days. So, and I don't know what this is. I, there's a lot of stuff going on here. You know, this should be a small movie. Like, the plate scene, fun. You know, if you're going to redo this movie, 
the plate scene, you know, is for the people who didn't see the first movie. Right? The plate scene, I mean, if you're redoing it, um, stuff like that. 33-year-old movie. So, there are people who are going to, who this, this version of the movie's aimed at, they weren't even born when the original came out. Why even do this? It doesn't make any sense. The character, making the characters black doesn't really add anything. It doesn't take away anything, but it doesn't really add much. You're not really gaining much on this. And by making it rated R, you've cut part of the, the audience out that this movie should probably be aimed at. You know, it's about kids taking responsibility. Like, that's not a message for, well, maybe it is a message for adults these days. I don't know. Um, but it probably should be more a message for young adults, young kids, you know, teenagers. Like, hey, it's not so easy, uh, you know, taking care of a house or whatever. And, you know, there's other comedy to be mined from this concept. I, What they should have done is not bought this IP. This IP, to me, isn't worth resurrecting at all and recasting under any circumstances. Maybe if you cast, if you found a bunch of really young comedians that, that could have filled the roles, you know, maybe you could have found a young female comedian who would have been perfect for this. That would have been tough, but it's possible. Uh, same thing with the older brother. But, you know, Christina Applegate, not for nothing, was one of the funniest cast members on Married with Children. She, she has great comic timing. And uh, so it was possible she could carry a whole movie, and she kind of did. You know, these guys are fine, but I don't, I don't really see one of them carrying the movie, you know? They're not, they're there, they're doing it, but it's not like, they're not luxuriating in it. You know what I mean? Like, when a cast member, like, is nailing something and having a great time in a role, you can just kind of tell. These guys are there, but they're not, they're not at that next level. And that's what you kind of needed. Uh, some kind of comedy prodigy to really take this up a notch. And maybe insert some different bits that would be, really funny but bits that would be pg-13 bits kids trying to run things and screwing it up you know you know you got the thing with the cop and the dead babysitter but you could have just as easily made this a movie about the mother goes away to some foreign country you know some nameless foreign country you know something you make up for the movie there's a coup she gets trapped there the, the, the teenagers are already having a problem with her. She's she's an overbearing ogre, let's say. And so she gets trapped there, and they conspire to have a great summer without her, leaving her trapped in, I don't know, Myanmar somewhere for two months while they go to town and have a great time. Like So you could have the same exact plot. It's just that you don't need the babysitter aspect. I mean, the babysitter... You're telling me the babysitter in this day and age that, uh, you know, with kids running amok at every level, they'd be like, okay, let me hire the oldest lady I know <laughs> to be the babysitter. Let me make sure she's like, you know, very, very old and elderly. Like, yeah, it doesn't really scan. Um, and, and, to make the kids crazy, you really got to up that craziness. So, you know, you, you could have just done it a, a different way and just abandon, essentially, this movie for an original version of this. And then you could have done whatever you want. I mean, you could have changed the location. You could change the dynamic of the kids. You could, you could have made it one kid running amok if you wanted to you had a lot of flexibility there by buying this ip and trying to rework it you're already reworking a, a a concept that didn't do great the first time around what the hell how did this even make i'm not i bet it wasn't much i'm almost sure it did it did better later here it is don't tell mom 
I guess I must have punched this in before. Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. From 1991, I think. Come on. You'll find it. You'll find it, the numbers. There it is. Yeah, it, well, it didn't do too bad for comedy in 1991. 25 million. That might have been, actually been sequel land these days. Because I guarantee you, back in 1991, it didn't cost $25 million to shoot this thing. Probably cost more like maybe 10 probably closer to 5 somewhere between 5 and $10, i am going to guess. So, I mean, I could see why they maybe picked this up, but it's so old. It's so old, and you're aiming it at a new audience anyway. Why bother? What are you getting out of this? So somebody who saw this movie back when they were teenagers, now in their 50s, is going to go, oh, oh, they're, ma they're remaking my favorite movie. <laughs> 33 years later. Oh, let me watch that with my kids. Eh, not really working for me. Yeah, I don't think they should have done this. But if you want to see it, April 12th, Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead, rated up. For adult situations. And that's it for me, Tony D. And Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, Bitchute, and Rumble for a more base takes. If you can find a more base take, I say take it. I'll see you Saturday. That's at the South Jersey Geek Fest from 10 to 5 at uh, the Ridgeway High School in Woodbury Heights, New Jersey. Hope to see you there. See you in the next one.